Hello there, Eruner here, and today we are going to discuss combat triangle in Pharaoh. Please, uh, if you have any opinions, knowledge, questions, anything, you can ask and write them in the comments below, because this is an open discussion. You can absolutely disagree with me, and, and if you want, you can correct me when I will be wrong. There will be a couple of questions in this video, so you can try to answer them from your point of view. So, let's start with what I mean by the combat triangle. Let's say that we have a rock, uh, which is beaten by paper, and that is beaten by scissors, and rock beats uh, scissors as well. So we got this combat triangle when one element is beating the another, but is defeated by another one. All right. So, but what do we have in the Pharaoh? Uh, that is a very good question. And right now you can pause the video and write your definition of combat triangle based on your experience or knowledge. And if not, let's have a look what do we have in the Pharaoh. We have some sword units, spears, axe units, clubs, also two-handed variants of spears, axes, clubs, and we have kopesh. Then we got some archers, javelins, slings, and two kinds of chariots with a new one, which is an oxen chariot. All right, we got quite a number of weapons, weapon types, unit types, and this will be uh, the topic for today. Very, very important question. Do you know all the unit counters in the Pharaoh? If you do, please tell me when I will be incorrect about anything. Or you can also put your opinions as well. So, uh, just to warn you before we go further, you can grab a cup of tea or coffee. The next section will be very intensive your brain cells will be need to be focused and that's it let's start with right away so we are starting with swords which um, i don't know do they have any are they countering anything so far i know they are able to beat missile units because of the shields i i'm not sure if uh, this unit counter also considers or is it valid Swords usually are stronger than spears and maybe some unshielded units as well. So you tell me if this is a counter or not. Next we have spears. Obviously they are absolutely strong against the chariots because of their insanely high bonus versus large. Also shielded, shielded spear is also good against missiles especially with their formations. It's beautiful. And while well, speaking of this, we can also say that every shielded unit is countering missiles. So let's say it right away, so I don't have to repeat this for other units. Okay, now we have the Axe units, which are having the bonus versus shield, which makes them strong versus shielded infantry. Yeah, quite interesting unit counter, which is not in Troy. Next, we have club units. Uh, we will need to think outside of the box to find their unit counter, which is armor. They are ignoring armor. In other way, we have light units, medium units and heavy units. So let's say that they are countering the heavy units because most of their heavy equipment is kind of ignored. All right, next we have the Kopesh. And I don't know, they are not as unique because they are strong against shielded units as well. So please tell me what is the difference between uh, Kopesh and shield uh, dead Axe unit. I'm not sure right now. 
Okay, next we have finally missiles and missiles are going to be very good against unshielded units. It should be obvious, but yeah. Also, they are going to be pretty good against chariots, especially if you protect your missiles. Uh, especially javelins are able to melt chariots very quickly. But we have three types of missiles and please let me know if you think they are the same. Uh, we, I will show you that archers are countering... Huh, I don't know. Uh, this is another question for you. Uh, archer is to counter to which unit? Because when I go to javelins, uh, they are going to be countering heavy units and armor units. Their pierce damage is very nice and used for this purpose. And with slingers, you are going to absolutely bully and harass enemy missiles because of your long range. You are also very good against lightly armored units and maybe unshielded as usual. So that's why I wonder what the difference is using, use, is having the archer. Okay, and we have still some units left uh, with the chariot. Uh, they are designed to absolutely roll through the missiles to demolish them. And melee chariots, I like them because I can absolutely decimate melee infantry, especially if my front line is using, is doing the job as well. And the missile chariots, they are going to be very good against these unshielded guys when you are skirmishing and keeping distance. Your, miss, your arrows or even javelins can be very good against these uh, two-handed guys. And and lastly, we have the Oxen Chariots. Um, their unique counters and their purpose in the battlefield is in this video, which I have made, so you can uh, watch it after this one. So, uh, that is kind of enough for this topic. Uh, but we have barely scratched the surface of uh, the complexity and all the details that we can talk about. So please let me know what should we talk about next, which details to focus on next and if you make some good points in the comments, uh, we can have an, another video about this. So that is all for now. Have a nice day. Bye bye.